Okay, so what I'm showing here is a uh, paint failure of the, um, what had happened is somebody uh, threw an egg at the um, back of my van a couple years ago, and I had fixed this. I stripped this all the way down to nothing, and I painted it with the Duplicolor primer, and then I painted it with Duplicolor, you know, original color good paint and this is what happened it just peeled didn't uh, didn't do good at all and so this is just kind of the background on what I'm about to show so hang on so what I have to do now is uh, strip it all the way down again and repaint and uh, reprime and repaint and I wanted to share this curious uh, discovery I came across. What I ended up doing, I was going down to a place called CarQuest, which is an auto parts store, and uh, I was going to go down there because they're the only place that sold the plastic coat paint, and uh, going by Dr. Cranky's uh, recommendation, I wanted to get some of that plastic coat primer to use on model kits. And I'm pointing at this, but this is not plastic coat primer. Actually, in all the excitement, I left without the plastic coat primer because the car quest I went into, and it says car quest here somewhere, there, car quest, car quest is an automotive supply store like discount auto parts or AutoZone, and um, they carry a lot of paint, a lot of great paint, they had all the plastic coat paint, but the guy asked me what I was doing, I was like painting the back of the van, and he says, uh, you have the van here? And uh, I said, yeah. So he went out there with me and he found the code. And now this is a neat thing here. He entered the code into his computer and going by that, he actually made this spray can. I've never seen that before. I mean, I've, I've seen where they mix colors, where you can bring home a can of paint and you put it in your sprayer, but I've never seen them make a custom spray can before and this is the exact um, formula for my van so that it will match the paint around it and these are the ingredients these are the paint ingredients he says the one on the bottom there is a clear coat so he's mixed a clear coat in here with it so it'll be nice and shiny as well and I'm real anxious to try this and then for primer, he says, try this one. He just pulls it off the shelf and he throws it at me. And I'm like, okay. And I didn't read the label till I got home, but look at this. What does it say? Yeah. For industrial use only by professional trained painters, not for sale or use by the general public. So, real excited to use that. And it's uh, DuPont. As is this. Uh, the white paint is DuPont also. So I'm guessing what I bought is real automotive primer and real automotive paint. And uh, it's a big can, uh, so I'm guessing that I'm gonna be able to do my project and I still have some left over, uh, primer and paint. So I'm looking forward to using these on a model um, as well. But you know, I'm gonna paint the van first and see what I have left over, but I just wanted to share that. Cust custom made, custom mixed automotive paint in a ready to go spray can. Never seen that before myself. I don't know if that's normal or what, but I'm happy to get it. Just sharing. I'll let you know how it goes.